Hey, hi guys. W welcome back. It's Henry again. Um, as um, the situation is unfolding, I'm trying to uh, keep people informed as much as possible with what I hear, with uh, what's happening around. And uh, please share this information with your friends and subscribe to the channel and like it to help. Uh, this information needs to be spread. Okay, first of all, the markets on Friday went back up, and it's very simple simple to understand. What happened is, well, the government, through the, the central banks, they put trillions, literally trillions of dollars worldwide, and they themselves bought everything. So it looks like everything went back up, but people are selling and governments are buying. So it, everything was on the green, except uh, gold and silver, which is also... Very easy to understand. Gold, silver, Bitcoin went down because the people lost money and many of people had to sell these assets to cover their, their bets with the stock market. And then it created a down pressure on precious metals and Bitcoin. That's temporary. And in the same time, governments don't want these things to go up because if gold goes up and Bitcoin goes up, people go like, hmm, maybe I should buy it. And they they would tend to drop the paper monopoly money that they have us believe is money, like dollars and euros and yens, which is nothing but paper. See, for a banker to, to click and cre click uh, and create money cost them zero. For you to, uh, to earn money, you got to produce something. So that's why they keep, they, they've been printing money and buying everything. In Japan, the, the Japanese central bank owes like over 70 or 80% of all the ETFs, they, they owe almost all the stock market. Why? They bought it with funny money. You and I, you have to work for it. Okay? Now, I just wanted to share a couple of uh, uh, things with you. First, like, put it into perspective. This coronavirus is really bad. Okay? It's a really, it's a, it's a very bad cold. And it, apparently, if, it, if, if, you, if you catch it, it's a really bad pneumonia. And yes, people that are already weak and people that are all on a certain age bracket, they are more sensitive to it and people do die, okay? But look at the numbers, okay? 10 here, 20 there. Norway just shut down the whole country with zero death, okay? Italy has like a, a few tens of, of, it's like, it's crazy. Look, this graph is about the, the regular influenza. It's about the United States, but it gives an impression of how it is worldwide. Look, 2017, 2018, 45 million people caught a cold. 810,000 people went to the hospital and 61,000 people died of it. These are huge numbers. Well, nobody talks about it. So the press, which belongs to the people that really control the money system, they use this corona scare to get the blame for what the market was about to crash. If people had been following the market, they knew the market was about to crash. The big CEOs of the big companies have been selling stocks. Many of them went on to retirement just a few months in the past. A lot of them just checked out, including Disney. Uh, now, I just heard that uh, um, um, Microsoft... Um, uh, his name. He just resigned from uh, from uh, all his his uh, seats. You know, like so. All these guys they are checking out because they knew it. They knew it was coming, and now it's all coronavirus, coronavirus, and nobody's blamed for it. But this thing is really bad because the governments are overreacting, and they are shutting the economy down. What happens? Okay. Oh. No, no more shows, no more this, no more there, no, no, go, don't go to the shopping mall, don't go to the rest. So all these little businesses are going to go belly up. Imagine if you have a restaurant and you have no customers. All these airlines are already asking for bailouts from the government. I have another article here about car. Oh, this is the, the mayor of Miami got po po tested positive. I'll, I'll come back to it. But look, 79% crashes in sales of cars in China. The car manufacturer asks asking the money for, for the, from the government for a bailout. Here in the States, uh, the, the government putting a package where people that get coronavirus are going to get money for free. 
And so they're going to be starting to give money for free, paper. So everybody's going to get paper, but nothing is, is being produced. Okay. And people, are, and this is not enough because people are scared. People are not going out. People are not buying. The real estate market is contracting. And especially in the famous cities, in the big cities like London, Berlin, Tokyo, New York, the, the, the prices will collapse even more than if it's farmland. Okay. So right now, this is a, a colossal situation that the world will never be like it was a month ago. That, forget it, that's gone. We are entering a world depression. And this is going to take many, many years to get out of it. So there are certain things that are happening right now. As I said to you, gold and silver and um, in cryptocurrencies got destroyed. It's a great mon mon moment to buy because within a few months, when this paper money that the governments are printing gets to the market, all these things are going to go up like crazy. So if you have any savings right now, try try to move it some of it to gold, silver, Bitcoin, whatever you can, and uh, you will you will uh, really be happy about it in the future. And I also mentioned in the last video about food shortages that are coming. Well, first the distribution has been totally messed up and farmers are also not getting uh, seeds. They are not getting people to work. It's, it's a mess. But it's also something that is a trend that nobody was talking about because they are, they are keeping us busy with global warming while the world is actually cooling. You have here a graph of the solar activity. You see like uh, 15, 16, 17, 18. These last few years have been dropping. And this is a tendency and it's a cycle. When the solar activity drops, the earth gets cooler and the climate changes. The, the climate changes all the time anyway. It's not CO2. It's not breathing that makes the, 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 the climate. Did you ever think about it? CO2 is what you breathe out. You and all the animals in the world and the plants take the same CO2 for growth. When the amount of CO2 grows, the plants grow faster. It's just like that. So it's really not that. But the people in charge, they know of these solar cycles and they are preparing because they know there's going to be a lot of problems, a lot of famine. And they are just, they have like seed storage. They bought farms. They bought, they bought, uh, even I heard that, um, China has been buying a lot of land on the Sahara because the Sahara tends to get wet during these solar things. And uh, there is going to be a lot of disruption. So in the meantime, there could be that some foods are no longer available. And if you're not prepared, you can get hurt. So look into solar minimum because you will find out a lot of information. I have another graph here that is interesting to look at. Let me see. Uh, so do Look, this one, uh, the sun, in the 1600s, 1500s, 1600s, there was a, the Maunder Minimum. That's the, the, the name they called that period. And there was a mini glaciation. In Europe, there were even record, records of years without summer. There was famine. There was diseases like uh, the, the, the past, etc. There was revolutions. There were witches being burned because people thought the gods were angry. And now, then it goes back up. You see, in 1800s, there was also, again, a quarter, a quarter period. And we've just been at the end of the century through a, 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 a lot of sun activity. It was getting warmer. And now it's getting colder, you see. And in the next 10 years or so, it's going to get a lot colder with a lot of climate disruptions. And if it's uh, time to take action, the time is now. You can learn, you can grow things at home. You don't have to have a farm. If you have a farm, great. But, you know, if you can grow things indoors, look into that. Look in, in how, just Google it. Professor Google knows everything. How you can buy uh, and learn to grow vegetables at home in pots. There is aquaponics. There's many things that you can do so that you can produce some stuff because there's going to be food shortages and you, you can 
and should do something about it. It sounds like crazy right now, and I know it's crazy because we haven't been having this experience in, during our lifetimes, but it's happening. And even I saw NASA is already talking about it, although they're very discreet because they still want to push that narrative that the, the world is getting warmer, but the opposite is true. And then with all this scare, because you know, like the press and the governments are scary as in, in forbidding everything. Now you can't travel, you can't get uh, together on the street, etc., etc., to control us so that we stay quiet, that we stay put. Okay, business are gonna go bankrupt and people get scared, then the velocity of money slows down. The velocity of money is what we call the, the, how fast the money circulates from person A to person B to person C. The faster it goes, the more the economy grows because you, when you make money, someone else is paying you. When you pay someone, someone else is making money. So the velocity of money is going to go down right now because people are hunkering down. They're not going out. They're not buying houses. They're not buying cars. They're not buying fridges. They're not going to the restaurant. They're not going to vacation. They are saving. So all this is going to create an additional economic contraction. So. Governments are doing the opposite. They are giving everybody money, okay? They're gonna have lots, of, and all this paper at a certain point, everybody's gonna feel comfortable with a lot of paper in their bank account, and people are gonna start spending, and then we're gonna see hyperinflation. So that's also why it's important that you buy right now, start saving gold and silver, while the, the, the your paper money has still have value, because in a year or two from now, when you have your money saved in gold and silver, you're going to be having increased purchase power. Right now, it's the opposite. And the other thing that I wanted to bring up to your attention is there's going to be waves of unemployment, waves of business closing, and people are going to be scared of having social connections because of all these contamination things. Well, what's going to happen? People are going to be at home, they have an internet connection, and going to start learning and starting to doing business online. So if you're ahead of that curve, you uh, that curve, you can just cash on it. So act fast. If you want to ask me, I, I've been doing business online for a few years now. I have a couple of ideas. I would love to share it with you. Uh, just message me, get in touch with me, and then uh, I can share um, what I do, what's working, and then uh, all my experience so that you as well, you can cash on and thrive. And please, if you like the contact us if this video, start talking to the people around it, share the video, ask what they think, like it, and subscribe to my channel, and let's get this conversation going, because alone, we are very weak. But if we are together in a community, if you have friends, if you have family around that is backing you up, we can share responsibilities, and we can still do really well in these difficult times, because it's time to prepare, because the, th the thing is already broken, okay? It's not gonna go bre breaking someday, it's already broken. But you're still early in the situation, so you maybe you don't feel it yet, but it's coming. So thanks again for listening, thanks again for sharing. See you on the next video. Goodbye for now, this is Henry signing off.